is Jeff from TorWars.com. I'm here with the one and only James Olin, and we are here at E3 2012, where BioWare has just revealed a whole bunch of new uh, features and content for uh, the Old Republic. James, how are you today? I'm doing great. Having a great show so far. Yeah. And uh, now it's very exciting. Uh, it's in the post-launch environment. You guys are emphasizing things that are coming up for Star Wars The Old Republic. What can you tell us? Oh, we have so much coming this year. Um, I think the most exciting thing that we have is uh, the brand new planet of Makeb. So it's an entire planet, just like the planets that you adventured through while you were playing through the, the level up game in Star Wars The Old Republic. It's a center point of the galactic conflict between the Empire and the Republic, but the Hut cartel has now become involved, and that's kind of what the story focuses around there. But um, yeah, there's tons of hours of content on the planet. Makeb is essentially the size of a full game. And it's, you've got all sorts of um, story content there, the really high quality story content that players have been asking for. It's got, we've learned a lot of lessons having uh, done all this story content through you know, the development of the Old Republic. We've applied those lessons to Makeb, so you have some of the best cinematics, some of the coolest choices. It's just a great, great story world. I think people are gonna really love it. So that's kind of our centerpiece thing that we've been talking about that's coming out in a future update. We've also been talking about update three, which is coming out right away. Update three has Group Finder, which is gonna let people group up together in seconds instead of hours. Um, we also have, uh, it, we've continued to expand the legacy system. The legacy system now has traits, and those traits are gonna allow you to customize your level up experience. Um, we are gonna continue to actually expand the legacy system um, throughout the year. We have, uh, the legacy system is actually part of the reveal of a new companion character called HK51, who um, is obviously related to the very famous KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic character, HK47. So uh, HK51 is really funny. He's a humorous companion that you can join either the Sith or Empire players. And uh, it's difficult to get him, though. You have to go through a whole quest line. Um, we have new operations coming. We have um, the operation we have. I don't know. I think you saw the video. It's really epic. The uh, boss monster there is probably the most epic boss monster I've ever seen in any Star Wars fiction. It's pretty cool. It's very Cthulhu-esque, too. Um, yeah, and then uh, we have um, a new war zone coming. The war zone is quite a bit different from our previous war zones. We wanted, um, we wanted to shake up the war zones a little bit and start giving points to players, not just for objectives, but also for player kills so that we could change behaviors within a war zone. So I think players are going to really like that. Obviously, ranked war zones. We have a whole bunch of other stuff coming for PvP. For fans of open world PvP, I can say that we're still working on stuff there. Um, I think they're going to be really pleased once McKeb releases because you're going to see all the high-level players move into that zone. And obviously, the Imperial and Republic players are going to come into contact. The population is going to be high, and you're going to get a lot of organic open world PvP there and hopefully we'll have some new systems in by that time as well that will um, more encourage open world PvP and obviously we're still working on um, yeah we're working on a whole bunch of different things when it comes to uh, PvP we have a whole team devoted to it so I think fans of PvP will be very happy um, yeah. one, one of the big things that that you dropped on us which was a big surprise was a new level cap now how is gear gonna scale with the level cap everyone's very excited to hear about that but they're interested in some of the mechanics about that how is that gonna work what can you tell us so yeah, we're not talking too much about the level cap, um, but yeah, that's another big thing. That's why I asked the question, yeah. James. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, so with McCab, we knew we were, so we're introducing all this new story content. Um, and whenever you're doing that kind of story content, we wanted it to feel like a Bioware game, so we wanted you to be getting experience points and levels. So even though um, most, uh, or all MMOs save their you know, level cap increases for expansion packs, we decided, ah, we're gonna break the mold and, and give some uh, level cap increases before that. Um, it was difficult, you know, there's a lot of um, fallout from it. it. You know, we have to make sure that the, it doesn't disrupt the Elder game too badly, so. But I'm not, I can't go into detail on how many levels or the powers and all that stuff right now. Okay. And you talked about uh, additional legacy perks, additional legacy abilities unlocked. What can you tell us about that? What can you tell us, I mean, fans are really ravenous for more information about what that might mean. Well, we want to make, um, basically one of the big things about legacy is making alting a lot more fun, a lot, like a more fun experience. And one of the things that Legacy Perks allows you to do is essentially customize how your player is going to level up. So if you are a big fan, say you you want to create a brand new bounty hunter, um, but this time you don't want to, you just want to do your class quests and you just want to do war zones. What you can do is you can take some perks that give you bonuses to experience points in war zones, and then um, basically you'll essentially be able to level up just doing your class quests and war zones and maybe a few other quests. So you don't have to do all the same content. Or let's say you're a big fan of um, flashpoints. Um, you can take a perk that will basically change the, your experience point progression when you're doing flashpoints. So you can you know, do your class quests and flashpoints 
and you don't have to do all the other, like, say, world quests that you might have already done or don't want to do again, or you don't have to do war zones because maybe you're not a fan of PvP. It essentially just allows you to really customize your level of experience. All right, now, does it unlock new abilities? Is that Because that seemed to be implied in the presentation that it unlocks new new things for each character. How is that going to work? Yeah, yeah, so it also, those it, you can essentially buy new abilities for your character. Perks are specific to your character instead of your entire legacy. So when you buy an ability, it'll be for your character, not for your um, all like your entire legacy. So that's one of the big differences there. And there's a whole bunch of different abilities. I'm not going to go into. Uh, I'm not going to give out specifics yet, but um, but players will see it pretty soon.